Hey guys, Uncle Ray. Welcome to another episode of the Crypto Bellwether. This is not clickbait. This is not FUD. And if it is FUD, it's because there is real fear and uncertainty, right? Uh, now, right now, we might be experiencing one of the biggest rug pulls in crypto history. Yearn Finance and a lot and 27 uh, other blockchains are going to go away. Now, I don't want to get into all that. I just want to tell you that if you're in Phantom, in my opinion, I wouldn't panic. However, it is something to be concerned about. And I was actually going to do a video of why you should stack your bags in Phantom. And I'm still not sure that I'm not going to, but I'm not going to do it today. But it's down huge today. It's a great buying opportunity. Long term, I think it's all good. But just let me tell you my concerns and I'll be done and we'll look at the chart. Um, the biggest developer, uh, they call him the godfather of DeFi. I think I've got that correct. Him and another guy are basically walking away from Phantom. I didn't think that was a big deal. And I knew that they could, you know, take care of that and they'd go get another developer or 10 more, whatever. But. They're closing down Yearn uh, DeFi, right? Yearn Finance, which sits on top of Phantom. And that's huge. And what concerns me about that is, with all the regulations, why would you close down one of the biggest, most profitable, kick-ass DeFi out there? Uh, you could sell it. You know, or you could just move other developers into it. I don't know if you could sell it, but you could move other developers into it uh, just in a matter of months. I mean, developers are very, very intelligent. Obviously, uh, you didn't have to set uh, close it down. You could have let you could have merged it into like made it part of Phantom. I mean, there's a thousand things you could have done. So it concerns me with all the regulations and the and the political clout coming from all the banks. Because guys, if you understand DeFi at all you know in like three years at the rate it's going there will not be a person with substance that does not have the bulk of their money in DeFi. once it gets to be safe and they keep doing what they're doing guys you can put your money you can park it's like parking it in the bank back in the day and you get 15 percent when you park it in the bank it starts at 15 percent you might get 300 percent there's all kinds of ways uh financial tools uh, that they're creating to make people money and it's getting safer and safer every day. This, this is like a rug pull because think about it. Once you announce that guys, I mean, imagine if you have the bulk of your money and you're in finance, it's going to just fall apart. I don't want to get into that too much more, but guys just hold tight, go down the rabbit hole, get, let's get some information. Uh, let's take a quick look at the chart. Um, it's been way over three dollars, and now it's it's heading toward a dollar, right? Maybe a dollar twenty, dollar thirty. I uh, haven't checked it because I've just been trying to get these videos out to kind of warn people. Uh, this is not financial advice. Don't hold me to any of this. I'm just trying to get the word out. Please spread the word, guys. Share this video if you've never shared a video. Hit the like button. Subscribe. Guys, I, I got your best interest. I always treat your money like my money. Um, and so I want to help you guys. I want us all to win. I, I want us all to be successful. This is concerning. Um, I do love Phantom. I love that they may be immune to regulation. And this may be the best layer one on the planet. And that's what I was going to say about my uh, in the, the reason to stack your bag video that I was creating that I stopped. And made this one because guys I don't know if you know or not but Phantom is not trading on any American exchanges and he said it a long time ago he probably never would because of regulation so they're building Phantom to kick ass all around the world so I love that so what I perceived to be a negative when I first went down the rabbit hole about Phantom because I was like how big can they get without America well that negative may be the best positive they have. And and you can't blame them for uh, urine finance. Urine finance just sits on top of them. Uh, so my thoughts are 
no matter how it comes out, hopefully they're going to be immune to the regulation. And if they hit DeFi really hard with the American government and all the regulation to try to save Bank of America and JP Morgan, because guys, all of those guys are like uh, blockbusters and now there's a Netflix. So they're like a cab and now there's Uber. Uh, the banks are done, the ones that don't jump on board, but they're very, very connected, very, very powerful. You know how corrupt the American government is. So they're going to try to slow it down or stop it or take control of it if at all possible. And that's my concern. Uh, and one other thing I'll let you go. DeFi is the hottest sector has been in crypto so far this year. I, I was going to make a video of how I plan that to uh, I, how I expect that to just keep going throughout the year. Anyway, guys, that's all I got. Uh, didn't mean to rant, but be careful. I don't know if I'd stack your bags. Get your information together. But after that, damn sure stack your bags. Not financial advice. Take care, guys.